So this is pretty crazy. Right now, I'm standing in my new home. I literally just picked up the keys, and this is my very first time in it as the actual owner. And it's very surreal, and I'm still sort of letting it all sink in. Deep breaths. So, a person's first home purchase is generally considered a, a pretty big milestone, and I owe a lot of that to you guys. So, I want to begin the video with a very, very profound thank you. That's really all I can say. I will do my best to, to keep on entertaining you, and it, it does mean the world to me that uh, you support what I do. And um, we'll uh, continue on with the tour and stuff. So right now I'm standing in one of the bathrooms, and pardon the echo because there's absolutely nothing around to, to dampen the sound, no furniture whatsoever. But I thought I'd still give you a brief tour because it could be a really long time until all the furniture, artwork, so on and so forth is completely set up. And in order to quell the interest, I will give you a, a tour with nothing set up whatsoever, just the rooms. And once everything is sort of set up and put into place, I'll give you a more in-depth walk around of, of where everything actually ends up. But for now, because that could be a couple months away, I will uh, give you a brief look at the completely empty condo. So it's not a house. I'm choosing my wording carefully here. Um, it's a, a unit in a building. Um, if you're from Europe, you might refer to it as a flat, but since I own it, it's not an apartment. Technically, it's a condo. So, terminology. Yeah. So we'll begin with the bathroom. This is the, uh, the master bathroom, I guess. It has a couple sinks, as is the usual in the master bathroom. It has the tub right here. It's got a TV on the wall, which came pre-installed, which is kind of fancy. And then the shower is right here. It's got a little bench there that you can sit on and, and rub-a-dub-dub. But you're not in the tub, you're in the shower. So I don't know what you do in the shower if not rub-a-dub-dub. Just take a shower. Toilets over there, yeah, fancy. Toilets, gotta love them. And just another look in the reverse direction. Super fancy tiling on the floor. And I don't know if it's granite or, or marble, but it looks really nice. There are a bunch of knickknacks scattered about. That's about all I have in the in in the place at the moment because they came with it. I think they were set up just for when people were, were touring it because they were there when I took my first tour. But I get to keep them. That was totally, totally the selling point. I would, deal breaker, if they took those away, not interested anymore. <laughs> so I get to get flowers, oh my gosh. And the, the diffuser, infuser, I don't know what those stick things are called, but they're supposed to make things smell good. So, yep. Oh, also, a lot of you may be very concerned. Like, oh man, you're gonna leave the in-wall ethernet at your current place? Nah, we got in-wall ethernet in the bathroom. <laughs> yep, moving on up. So, yeah, anyway, that is the, that's the bathroom. It even comes with a bathroom, too. Oh, man, so fancy. Woo! All right. There are also these, like, ring lights around the mirror that I turned off because they just blow out the exposure. But here we go. Oh, God! You're blind now. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And now we're back to normal. Little fancy chandelier things. Wee! Okay, so let's check out what will be my bedroom. So, blinds are drawn, I have to say. So what sold me on this the most is the fact that the view is absolutely spectacular. The problem is, if I show it to you, someone will undoubtedly recognize a landmark and be able to figure out exactly where I am. So that's the downside, is that despite the fact that it is spectacular and I would love to show you, what I might do is try to show you like a really uh, slim, nondescript sliver of it. Um, and it is nighttime, so... You'll just see mostly lights, but the view is incredible. And these are like automatic blinds, so I can click a button and they'll go up into the, the, the things up at the top. The ceilings are almost 12 feet tall, which is kind of cool. So I'm not sure if you can really get the scale on camera. Camera never really, never really accurately gets that across. Um, but this bedroom is pretty large. It's probably about twice the size as my current bedroom where I'm located and have been for the past year and a half. And a couple closets, if you're wondering what those two doorways are. Um, I guess it's under the mentality that if there were a couple living here, a uh, guy would get one closet, the, the woman would get the other closet, you know. But uh, since it's just me, well, I'll get both of them. Yeah, 
So it's really cool. It comes uh, pre-wired for you to be able to like mount a TV on the wall, so that's an electrical plug right there, and then you can wire all the cables through here, and then I don't know what you're supposed to do now at the bottom, I just drill a hole in the wall, but it's supposed to be easy, that's what I am told. So we'll see, but again, more Ethernet, so I can obviously have like a Netflix wired smart TV, so on and so forth, mounted up here. I will be mounting TVs finally, because I own it, and it is amazing. <laughs> So, and then there's like more ethernet, I'll probably set up a desk here, bed will be over there, then some nightstands, so on and so forth. Lots of, lots of cool stuff going on. The huge. I do have to get the cabinetry set up in the closets because it did not come with that. So that'll be part of the, uh, the process of getting furniture and getting the cabinetry set up, so on and so forth, which again is why it could be a little while. I probably won't actually be moving in for at least another month. So. Anyway, at least you get to see it for now. So what I'm going to do now is because I'd have to turn and sort of show the... Actually, no, I don't. Hold on. Let me just turn this really quickly. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to position the, uh, the phone so that you get sort of a nondescript sliver of the view. And then I'll sort of resume the tour from there. So just one second. So here we have a pretty small nondescript section of the nighttime view. It's about all I can show you because if I show the full thing, Again, someone will recognize a landmark, but uh, it gives you a little bit of an idea, I guess. I don't know. So, with me having shown you that, let's continue on with the, uh, the living space. So this is the living room area. There's the kitchen over there. It's a pretty big kitchen, actually, but before we get to that, a little secondary hallway. This is uh, one of the two exits back into the, the main common area. Laundry is in here, and then this is the powder room, quote unquote. It's just a bathroom that doesn't have a bath or shower. And automatic lights have just turned on. Whoa! Fancy chandelier things are blowing out the exposure. Hey, it's me again. How's it going? And the toilet. And you see the sink, kind of, you know. All right, cool stuff. Anyway, let us continue on with the tour over into the kitchen area has the big island in the center. The best part is that all the cabinetry are those nice little soft closed doors, so watch. Ooh. Oh, so soft. So subtle. I love it. <laughs> so everything in here has a soft close. There's a, a wine cooler thing right there. Even lots of wine. Man, like a housewarming gift. Cool. Uh, stove built into the cabinetry as well. A um, couple ovens. And then there is the espresso maker up there, and the microwave, and the refrigerator is actually built into the cabinetry as well. Oh, if I can open that. Oh man, it's a refrigerator. Food's going to go here in case you didn't know. <laughs> so close that up, and then we'll get to the coolest part of the house ever. So, this little black thing right here, this little black box, it can control like everything in the house. So there are speakers in the ceiling, which I meant to show you, but I will get to that in just a second. And you can play music through all the speakers from here. You can control the blinds and all the rooms, make them go up, go down. You can actually control TVs once I've got those set up. It's just awesome. And uh, some of the electronics are set up in the little closet here. We're going to actually need to install some ventilation on the front of this door, just because they're isn't much built into that space at the moment, but that's also where the ethernet is all wired up and stuff. And uh, hopefully the cable installer comes over, we'll be familiar with it, we'll see. I might have to do some figuring out of, of the ethernet wiring myself, but any hoosers. So allow me to back up here once again. Just another overview of the kitchen. Look at all the knickknacks they get to keep with the purchase of it. Even flowers and <laughs> I don't know if you noticed with the view, but I had a, a little, not a little, it's actually a pretty big like plant thing and yet another area over here where I can uh, mount a TV. It's all pre-wired once again. Ethernet down there, so on and so forth. Okay, so that's the living room area. Now we will move on into the hallway that leads into what will become the office gaming area. So before we get into that, just another bathroom with the fancy looking floor tiles and it won't focus. There we go, much better. It's got the, the crazy mirror light again. Oh god, exposure. I would assume that's for like if you're a woman doing your makeup or something, but since I'm neither a woman nor do I do makeup, unless I'm 
on a, a show that's filming, then they sometimes say, hey, we have to put makeup on you, and I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. Anywho, I get flowers. Oh man, fancy toilet, and another shower. So cool. So cool. All right, so let's continue on into, again, what will become the office, just another closet in there that needs to have cabinetry filled out. And it'll probably be set up in here as like a little corner desk over here, and then maybe some shelving in this area, and then over here like a futon or something, so that if I have a guest, they can sleep on something more comfortable than just the couch in the living room. So, I think that about does it. That is all the rooms in the home, house, it's not a house, it's a condo slash flats, depending upon what terminology you prefer. But I think that about wraps it up for now. Again, once everything is set up, all the furniture, so on and so forth, I will give you a, a more detailed walkthrough. But hopefully, that will quell your interest for now. Oh, totally almost forgot. One sec. Speakers in the roof. And where are they? There we go. I just accidentally completely zoomed in, and I don't know how. Okay, there we go. Much better. Hey, speakers. So those are wired up throughout the place, and you can play music and stuff. Anyway, let me wrap up once again. Hopefully not totally zoomed into my face like crazy. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed. And that's about it for now. So I bid you farewell.